Welcome to Yeah, Sweat and Cheers. I am glad that you have joined me today. I am Darlene, the exercise queen, and I'm presenting to you the first of five simple exercises in this series. When you start doing these exercises, just keep doing them a little bit at a time. Each one is set to be done for one minute. However, if you cannot do it for a minute, do as long as you can and come back to repeat at a later time. So this first one is a hop skip. You put your hands on your hips and you basically just skip with your feet for one minute. We're gonna skip for one minute. Keep it going, keep it moving. The clock is counting down. You're doing great. Keep it moving if you can. If you cannot, stop and relax. that you have completed this first exercise, relax for about 15 to 20 seconds and then come back to begin to do the next exercise. And this is the second exercise of five that we will do in this series to help beginners get started and be consistent in your exercise. This one is called the full body wave and what we're going to do is put our hands up. As we go up, we go on our toes. As you go down, you lower your feet and you put your hands as far behind you as you can. You come back up and down again. So we're going to do this for one minute. So let's get started. Reach for the sky on your toes and down. Reach for the sky on your toes and down. Very simple exercise. Do as many as you can. If you can't make it to a minute, just do what you can and then relax. Up, down, and back. Up on your toes, reach for the sky. Feet down and back. Congratulations to you once again. You have completed the second exercise in the series of five, the full body wave. After each exercise, just encourage you to do a 15 to 20 second break and then go to the next one as you progress. You'll find yourself doing more each time. So this one is very easy to do. What you do is begin to run in place and you're going to just let your hands dangle like a rag doll. This will help uh, reduce your arms, your feet, your, I mean your legs, your thighs, every part of your body pretty much is being exercised at this time. So let's begin right now. Here we go. One minute, rag doll. Just let your hands and arms go limp.
This is so simple, but you're getting a lot of benefit out of it. Let those arms dangle, feet moving, running in place, arms dangling like a rag doll. Okay, now that you've completed that exercise, rest for about 15 to 20 seconds. And I applaud you for getting to the end, doing it for a minute or however long. So this one is called the Eagle Twist, the Eagle Waist Twist. So we're just going to put our arms out like this and we're gonna twist our body back and forth. This exercise will help your waist, your hips, your thighs, your back. A good portion of your body will be a, a get benefit from this particular exercise. So we're going to do this for one minute and we're going to start now. Here we go. Keep your arms as straight as possible and twist as far as you can. Just do your best. Okay, keep going. If you can, if you get tired, stop. Please, listen to your body. Eagle, waist twist. Okay, now that you have completed exercise number four, relax for about 15 to 20 seconds and we'll get ready to do the next exercise. And we're here to do the fifth exercise in the series of five exercises. So this one is a simple one, it will work your waist, it will work your back, your arms, but we put our arms out to the sides like this. This is called the windmill touch toe. So you put your arms out and then you just touch each toe. As you come up, squeeze your behind. So we're going to get started. This is an easy exercise. We're going to do this for one minute. So let's go. You can put your feet at a good position that's comfortable for you so that you can keep your balance. But just touch each hand to the opposite toe. You're doing great. Just keep it up. Do as many as you can up to a minute. If you can't do that minute, do what you can and then relax. You should swing the opposite arm up and back. Okay, you've done a great job. You've done all five exercises. And this is basically for beginners to do one minute of each exercise to begin with. 
if you feel full of energy and you want to go back through it, do it again. It's all going to be good for you. We're looking forward to you feeling better by the end of the year and into the new year and also by the time the summer gets here. So I am Darlene, Exercise Queen here at Yeah, Sweat and Cheers. God bless. I love you and keep it moving.